In this video, we're going to find a confidence interval for a percentage using StatCrunch. We're going to focus on problem number seven right over here. So a study of 1,620 toll booth workers showed that only 21% were unhappy with their jobs. Construct a 90% confidence interval for the percentage of all toll booth workers who are unhappy. So we want a confidence interval for a percentage. So all we do is we go over here to where it says stat and you left click on stat and then you go down to where it says proportion stats. We have one sample in this problem so we go over to one sample and it's with summary so we go over to with summary so it's stat proportion we have one sample and it's with summary then we left click here where it says with summary it's asking for the number of successes well we know that there's 1620 toll booth workers total that clearly is going to be the observations that's the total number of toll booth workers and we also know that 21 percent of them are unhappy with their jobs so what we have to do is we actually have to multiply to find the successes. We have to multiply 21% of 1620. So to do that, you can go over here to where it says data and go down to compute and expression. Of course, you can always use a calculator. That's probably a lot easier. So data and then compute expression. And then you can just type it in. Let's see. We've got 1620. Let's try it. Times and then 21%, so 0.21. And then we can click this button here that says compute, and hopefully it works. Let's see. Yep, it sure does. It says new column, something added to table. <laughs> so there it is, 340.2. So you have to round that. So let's round it normally to 340. Again, if you insist on using StatCrunch and not a calculator, it's data, compute, expression, and then you can just type it in, 1620 times 0.21 and then you just click compute and boom there it is it just shows up in the table pretty nifty all right so we enter our successes which is 340 we have our observations which is 1620 this is a confidence interval so we click on confidence interval and it says 90 percent here so we have to change this to 0 0.90 and then we click compute and boom there it is so there is the confidence interval now it's written as a decimal so if you wanted to be hundred percent correct you would take each of these numbers and multiply them by a hundred because you want your answer to be a percentage so your answer is just these guys you know with parentheses written the correct way uh, but as percentages so I hope this video made sense